Hello, folks, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. All right, we'll we got our trapper here. Time, all right. Hello. All right, let's have a look. Okay, we have a bunch of stuff to sell. Let's just go ahead and just sell Done. everything. I don't think we want anything else here. I'm just curious what he has to buy. Hopefully, he has a good saddle that we can maybe build with something. Though I don't know what exactly that would be. Not the gun oil. I do not want the poor wolf belt, so. I hope you make good use of Okay, so we Real buy from you. With you. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't okay, so he it. does have saddles. Right, okay. So these don't seem to have stats, which is weird. I don't know why these wouldn't have stats. Perfect alligator skin we could totally do. We've done that before. Perfect bear would be tough. Perfect beaver. We haven't actually seen a beaver yet. Though in um, in online mode, I have gotten a beaver um, all the way over near Strawberry. There's a bunch of lakes over there that has a bunch of beavers, you so we could do that. have it easy down here in the south. I I've once tracked a bad-tempered moose four days across an ice sheet just to eat a square meal. Only takes one perfect beaver belt. We could probably do that. The alligator is probably going to be easier. Good morning, humans. Let's okay? go get ourselves an alligator saddle. I think that's going to be easier, because there's a bunch up here in Lemoyne. At least we got, finally got rid of those damn weird wolf pelts. Okay, you're not actually hitched here, Argo. What happened? Okay, girl. Okay. Uh, so we want to go ahead and grab a perfect alligator skin. Alligators are going to be found basically all over the place, but the best place, I think, to find them is along this little archipelago right here. Could be in Legras. We could do that, too, but I think the archipelago here is going to be probably our best bet. Let's get out of town. The simplest way to do this is probably going to be... I'm going to do this. Mostly because I don't want to deal with, like, that guy right there. <laughs> the damn trolley car has run me over so many goddamn times. I just want to get away from that. There's two damn trolley cars in here. One seems like overkill. Yeah, we have to wait for it. Okay, then we can go. And even then, I still bash into things. Just get out of my way, lady. Come on. Okay. Man, even in cinematic mode, it's frustrating. I'm not even controlling it. <laughs> There's just too much goddamn traffic in San Denis. I kind of get it when Arthur says goddamn civilization. Okay, we're leaving town, finally. Alright, I was gonna change out my outfit, too, at the tailor, but... Oh well, doesn't matter. Just, uh, just tree up. Yeah. Well, there's plenty of things to steal there if we wanted to steal yet another wagon, but we have like over two thousand dollars. I'm not concerned about it at all. Okay, roll back a little bit here, and we're nearing the archipelago, which means we're about ready to hunt some alligators. Yeah, actually, right about here is good. Hey, see there. Yeah, here's probably good. There's a bunch of alligators right over there. Let's get our rolling block rifle, and we should be able to get any one of these, really. Okay. Oops, that was the wrong button. Okay, rolling block rifle, please. Okay. Let's see what we got right here. Oh, okay. Get you out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm letting you through. Two star. Not gonna give me a perfect hide, not worth it. What about this guy over here? Two star, not worth it. I saw another one. Okay, there's another one over there. Three star, there we go. Okay, we just gotta get over this. Actually, let's leave Argo here. It's probably the safer option. Alright, you stay here, Argo. I'll come back with an alligator hide. Don't want to, like, accidentally leave them on the tracks or anything stupid like that, so let's just try to eliminate as much stupidity as possible. 
Okay, so that's the three-star alligator right there, right? He's just facing the wrong way? Yeah, he's just facing the wrong way. Okay, we got him directly in the head. How about this guy? One star. Pretty garbage. I don't know the tricolored heron could be good. That's probably a varmint rifle shot, though. Roller block will probably be a waste. Probably ruin his hide, but let's try it anyway. Yeah, that probably ruined its hide, but I actually don't know if it's a hide problem we'd have with that. Oh, a tiny alligator over there. We just want to get a nice lined up shot. Hopefully a very unaware alligator. Hopefully I'm not unaware. I don't see anything else around here. I think we're good. All right. Alligator gets shot in the head. Okay. That should do it. Hopefully he's still three stars. Okay, good. He's still three stars. All right. Let's go to skin this guy. Yeah, kick him to make sure he's dead. Fair. Fair. I don't know if this is the way you skin an alligator or not, but we're going to assume that Arthur knows what he's doing. Three hours later. There you go. Got it. Okay, well that's our perfect alligator skin that we need for the hot for the saddle. Like I said, easiest thing we could have done there. We go find a beaver too and do all that, but and this will be fine. Nice custom saddle for us. Okay, over here we got some birds on this thing. Hold on, let me give a varmint rifle. Might need some bird feathers here. My varmint rifle here. There we go. Okay, and as for the birds here, they might be ruining my... Another bird? Oh, I missed the other one. That's alright, though. Oh, no, I totally got one here. Okay. So. Oh, the tricolored heron. Yeah, he's totally fucked. That was a three-star bird. It's hard to know if it was because of the ravens or it was the wrong gun. My guess is wrong gun. I think that was actually it. Alright, well, just go ahead and skin him then. Uh, same with the western raven, too, I think. And we have one more western raven over here. Unless that would have to be three stars, which I doubt. And not only did I think I shot him in the wrong place. But I think it wasn't three stars anyway. Yeah, sure enough. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the trapper. And we can get ourselves an alligator saddle. And again, I'm going to do cinematic because it's the easiest way to get around town. Once you get back on the road, that is. There you yeah. go. Learn how to jump. Yeah. Good job, Argo. Good job. Okay, let's get out of here. I have no idea what you just jumped over, but I'm sure it was very important. Uh, this is probably as fast as we want to go. I'm tempted to go faster, but we probably shouldn't. And then I guess we'll go to Micah, I suppose. There's the photographer near Valentine, which we kind of skipped by, but... Yeah, Mike would probably be better. We'll actually get a story done there. Hoping the alligator saddle actually looks good. Do you think they'll actually charge us? And we're coming in with the materials, but that's not Yeah, that's not all of it, right? There's the, the craftsmanship involved in making a saddle out of alligator hide. It's not as simple as just here's the materials. I mean we probably get some sort of discount. Because he's not going to go hunt it himself, but, you know, he's still got to, like, sew it. He's got to make, like, a decent saddle out of it. So it's still probably going to cost us a little bit, but we have $2,000. Like, I'm not too worried about it. Not sure what else we spend the money on. Although, I suppose more clothes would be kind of nice. What are you guys what doing, here, man? You? How's it going? Wow, hey, even in cinematic mode. You ain't right in the head, is you? 
Even in cinematic mode, it's hard to get through town. Did I just... Are you shitting me? Oh my god, we're wanted for disturbing the damn peace. God damn it. Okay, we can get out of the area, though. Why are you doing this? Okay, I think we have to wait until we're no longer wanted before we can do anything. Let's hitch our horse. I think we now have a bounty on our heads, though. It might be only like 10 cents, though. Uh, let's just wait for it to go away. They're not really looking that far. I just brush this horse a little bit. It's down to the E already. Man, in cinematic mode, I got in trouble. How is that fair? I was trying to do the right thing. I was hoping Arthur would do it. Well, now we know. Now we know Arthur is not exactly... Well, he's not exactly one for civilization, I suppose, which we kind of knew already. I know I don't necessarily need to carry it with me, but it just, I don't know, it feels more immersive to do so. Excuse me, folks, coming through. Pardon me. Yeah. Excuse you. I said be careful, that's all I said. Okay, here we go. Hey, you selling that belt? Damn right I am. Okay, let's take a look at it. Actually, I'm selling all this stuff, because I don't need it. So, to sell you the feathers. I hope you make something pretty with and that. whatever the hell this is. And more feathers. The heron plume, Pleasure I suppose. Doing, Alligator sir. tooth is all yours. Game meat I don't need. And then, of course, the actual pelt itself. Okay, so now I should be able to, to buy from you. All made to measure. A saddle, right? Hey, there it is. Actually, it's not going to not going to cost me anything. You absolute madman! You're a craftsman. You should at least pay. Cost me like at least twenty bucks. I mean, nowadays I expect to pay like five hundred dollars, even if I provide the skin myself. All right, here you go. It's crafted, I guess. You Weirdo. Can start using it now, or I can have it sent to the nearest stable. Okay, so I don't think it got equipped immediately on Argo. I'd be surprised. Nice I think instead we're going to have to do is go to a... Uh, yeah, saddle does not look different at all. Okay, let's go to a stable. Hello. I'm actually curious. Do we have a... Do we have a bounty in this town? We do not. They investigated and found me innocent of wrongdoing, which is damn, damn proper of them. Okay, stable's over here. I guess we don't do cinematic mode in town because Arthur can't be trusted. I think that's what we learned. I think that's what we learned. Arthur cannot be trusted. Oh, right in front of the... Okay, that was probably... My bad. My bad. Oh. Answer to the law. Oh, did that guy just... Yeah, he did. He just... Oh, can't go through here. Oh, he's just beating somebody right now? Oh, no, the llama just... The llama just arrested somebody. Did you just shoot a poor guy? I was gonna lasso him, but... Okay. I guess the guy in blue was llama, and he wasn't actually the thief. So let's just not get involved. It's probably easier. Through here. Isn't a tailor like around here somewhere too? Might be worth getting another outfit. Has anyone seen Gavin? Gavin? I have no idea who Gavin is. Okay, stable master. Stable master up here. Asked by all these guys. What the livery stable? Here we go. And here we can trade out our saddle. Okay. Tacking services. We've got room in the stable uh, equipment. Saddles. Repurchased, I guess? Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. State sets and these are fantastic. Oh, that's great. Okay, yes, please. This one right here. Actually, that does look kind of neat. I like it. I like it. That's pretty cool. Wish we could have previewed it before we actually 
had to get it, but that's totally fine. Beaver Saddle might be nice too, but that's a great drain rate. Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, great. So, we want to get out of town. I'm tired of St. Denis. The Watch from Micah's thing bring us to St. Denis. Uh, let's go to the general store here in Rhodes, where we know we can get some clothes. Let's go. I'm to drive myself because Arthur can't be trusted. I, mean, I think I can tell the difference already and with the drain rate. I think it might be better this way. But hey, custom saddle and a brand new horse. Still have to bond with Argo a bit here. It's more only on like level one. Level two will open up some more stuff, but. Overall, I think this is probably good. Hopefully her temperament's good. Like, hopefully she doesn't get scared off by... Man, she got scared off by the wolves, but that kind of makes sense. Damn, she's speedy, isn't she? I don't think we've ever gotten a full gallop on her before. Very speedy. Okay, now we can probably go ahead and do... Cinematic. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's incredibly speedy. Just don't crash anybody, Arthur. That's all I ask. Okay, I also want to give a thanks to the people who pointed out the cinematic mode exists for autopilot, because, wow. I mean, it it wasn't too much of a hassle to ride here anyway. It just allows me to take in the sights. You know, I don't have to worry about driving. I don't have to worry about any of that. We just go. That's all we have to do. Yeah, I might as well hold Whoa. back a little bit here. Uh, who the hell is this guy? You okay? Okay, he's just got a... Okay, I thought maybe it would be a stranger thing, but it's not. I don't have to worry about it. But here we are in Rhodes. I'm looking for my friend. Someone else Gavin. looking for Gavin. Gavin. That's sort of like a second oh, guy. Where the hell are you? Hey, mister. Uh, listen, have you seen... I I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He, he went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Huh. Good luck. And we that's, got. Uh, that's too bad. Can you get away from me now, please? So I can. Go. Let me go. Let me go. I was trapped there. I have no idea what the hell that was all about. I can't help him with Gavin, unfortunately. I don't know who the hell that is. Okay. Newspaper seller there. I think we've already we already had the newspaper here. I don't remember. Might as well go up to him and see. No, I think we already did this, but let's find out. It's like twenty-five cents, right? How can I help you? Nineteen cents, even better. Shut those damn dogs up! I'll shoot dogs. I'll do it. Oh, you came back. How you doing? Hey, bud. Have a look. All for sale, except the floorboards. Okay. All right. Take a browse. Let's see what you got in your outfits here. Don't really like the Saint Denis outfits. Heartland outfit is not that much better. We already have the Chevalier. Not wild about the Earl and the Gambler, which I don't think really works out. All right. So, give me a good coat. The duster coat's kind of cool. Can I look at that? See how that looks on me? Eh, kind of... Kind of worn. I don't know. Do you have a better coat? Tail coat's not what I'm looking for, though. Maybe the frock coat? Oh, kind of like the frock. Oh, we already own one of these? A lot of folks like that. Don't even, didn't even realize we already own one of these. Alright, never mind. 
Shotgun coat? That sounds cool. Not wild about the plaid or the other colors. Mm, no. No, no, no. And the Rambler jacket, which I think we already own too. We do not, but yeah, it doesn't exactly allow easy access to That's your guns. Popular. Well, the duster might be the closest thing. The shotgun coat's okay, but I just don't like the colors. I guess that's all right. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, go ahead and get me the shotgun coat here. Done. The pants are all right. Um, have a. Yeah, we own the black one. Can we just equip that? Thank you. That's helpful. Uh, it's all good. I think we already have... Yeah, we don't want any vests. We already have the jeans, right? Yeah, we own this one. That's fine. The boots look like I've been walking through Always sulfur. What the hell that. happened? Uh, let's see. I don't know why these are called quick draw boots, but... They are. Um, that's okay. We'll go with this, sure. Okay, then you've got rifleman gloves, but I'm pretty sure I already own. Yep, right there. Great. I've got suspenders already, and the hat's a lot decent. Of folks like that. Crossback suspenders. I don't know why that would matter. Not that we can see the back anyway. Always running out of that. Yeah, whatever. We got good, good suspenders right now. Okay, I think we're fine. I think we've already got enough tonic here. What about hunting and fishing? Anything good here? Unless there's like an improved arrow or something, but I don't think there is. Yeah, improved arrow is probably a recipe. I just don't know where to get it. Guess I could look it up. All right. Well, we look a little bit. That's it for now. Better yet. Oh, that's right. I wanted to shave. Well, if we can do that. Oh, I can't go that way. Uh, we can do that in the camp. Thanks, Mister. Come on, girl. And we haven't looked at the newspaper yet. Let me look at the newspaper. That's in Satchel. What do we got? Newspaper, a newspaper. Right here somewhere there were newspaper scraps. Two hundred dollar reward for who now? We've been subscriber on the night of August 17th, Curtis Royale. Okay, I don't want to help out Charlesworth here, so fuck him, basically. Also, the dog is just annoying me to hell to hell, so let's get out of here. Get out of Reds, so the dog's not bothering me anymore. Okay. We'll probably want to go back to camp. Uh, so the train's gonna be an issue. Let's get away from the train as well. Oh, that's Yarrow, isn't it? I could probably use that. Oh, no, I cannot. All right then, never mind. But this should be far enough from most anywhere. All right, let me get my satchel then. And documents. Not newspaper scraps, but. Oh, right, the hunting request. I totally forgot about this. Yeah, the Robin Squirrel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of know where to get squirrels, but we're going to... going to hold off on that right now. Where's the actual newspapers, though? Treasure maps, journal... Oh, newspapers, right there. Okay, it's got to be the Blackwater. Could it be the Saint Denis? Two of four. Just gonna flip this over and see if I spot any secret codes. Greed is American virtue. I think that's what that one is. So let's go to. I think it's settings. I forget where this is. It's been so long. Nope, not in here. Where was it? Not controls. Story? 
Nope, that's new and low game. Nothing in there. Specific place for stuff like this. It doesn't help me at all. Okay. Back up. Progress. No, there's no codes there either. I thought for sure when it wouldn't be in a story, we're only at 35%. Oh yeah, still in chapter three. Okay. Companion wouldn't fill it either, but there's a lot of animals we haven't seen yet. Not to mention all the cigarette cards. I think we still haven't discovered all the weapons. That seems unlikely. We probably just don't have all the weapons, which might be a totally different idea. Mm hmm. Happy in general? No, it's just nonsense in here. That doesn't really help me. Outfits, photo mode. Now there's like a. There's the. It's not in settings. It's not online, obviously. It cannot in social club. I really thought it was in settings, but now I don't see it. I don't want to restore any default. I'm going to have to look this up, aren't I? All right. Look it up. Oops. Red Dead Redemption to codes. Okay, so how do you actually unlock this? Where do you find them? How do you enter them? All right. Navigate to the settings tab and look in the bottom right corner. You see cheats. Oh, yep, there it is. I totally saw it there. Okay. So, into the cheat for now. The, what we just saw was greed is an American virtue. So, what do we have to type in? I think the spaces count too. Is, I don't know if capitalization matters at all. American space virtue. Oh, invalid. Invalid. Tell me that wasn't actually right. Hold on. I wonder if it has to be all caps. Uh, let's look at that again. No, not items. Over here. Satchel, newspaper. We saw it on the flip side here. And zoom in. Greed is American virtue. Yeah, right there. Maybe I didn't do the spaces right. It's all capital. I don't know if that matters or not. Let's see. Let's try that again. On settings. Go to cheats. Enter cheats. Uh, we could try just this. Read space is space American. All the way. There we go. And then virtue. There we go. I'm not to cheat. What is it? Heavy weapons. Grant access to a loadout of heavy weapons. I have no idea, but okay. At least the infinite ammo is easy to understand. I'm not sure what heavy weapons means. Heavy weapons to me means, like, grenade launchers, but I really doubt... I mean, wouldn't it be funny to put in a bunch of GTA weapons inside RDR? I don't think Grand Theft Auto grenade launchers and bazookas exactly fit the theme, though, so I think we're going to be okay. Let's go talk to Micah. Or at least go back to camp. Uh, we probably want to do some hunting first. Um, oh, there's a legendary fish down here. I doubt we're going to get that. Got to be careful about hunting in this area. Oh, there's boars up here. Can we actually carry a boar? I don't think we can. Unless the Arabians got better. It says bison right there, but that's a that's probably a lie. We need a we need a bison hide for something. Okay, so the bison are up here. Uh, the bison migrate, right? So what I've noticed and read it online is the bison start up here. They migrate down here, 
they move across and they go through here and they end up like around here which is crazy but that's what they do oh there's the photographer over here yeah why don't we go ahead and get a bison hide we'll talk to the photographer and then we'll come back down to Micah. I just don't want to really do not want to do Micah's mission. We probably should anyway, but I really don't like Micah. Come on, the girl. I mean, I'm not saying he's the one who's betrayed the, the gang and made us have to run, but kind of feels like that might be true. And I don't have any proof on it, though. So I'm, I don't want to convict the guy without giving him benefit of the fair doubt here, but kind of just something about him. I mean, really the fact that when we first met him, we had to shoot our way out of Strawberry. And he caused me to have like a hundred odd dollar bounty. Like every time, every damn time we're with Micah, our bounty goes up. It's just a just a money sink. If nothing else. If we just let that fester, we'd be one in every single territory right now. We'd have no place good to go. Which is crazy. Yeah, Micah does not seem to... I mean, they're all like that, right? I mean, Bill went up to Valentine to do the robbery. That got us $130. Though, the payout was fantastic. Like, that bank job... I mean, that's why we have $2,000 in cash right now. Like, almost $3,000. It's because of Bill. It's like, Bill... I don't know, won't say he redeemed himself, but he definitely made it so that he's not nearly as much trouble as Micah is. Micah shot up Strawberry just to get his own guns back. Like, not of anything else special. No reason to do it. Just wanted his guns. So yeah, that makes me not want to go to Micah at all. Now, maybe he'll redeem himself on this next mission. It could be this is, you know, how he redeems himself. Is this this one mission actually, you know, makes it worthwhile. Gives us a fantastic payday. But if it leads us into, say, an ambush full of... Uh, full of Pinkertons, we're gonna have some words. I mean, I can't shoot Micah. I wanted to shoot him that very first mission. They wouldn't let me. It's grayed out and Arthur refused to fire, but that's probably only because Dutch would have had some words with that, but sure would have only been words. Like, Dutch likes Arthur a lot. I don't know how much he actually likes Micah. It seems like if Arthur shot Micah in the head, Dutch would probably say, hey, Arthur, what was that all about? And, like, talk it out. I don't think he would immediately jump to any conclusion. I think he'd actually just want to talk it out here. A stranger here? Get it together. Yeah. Somebody stuck in here? No? Oh, there's that. Uh, there we go. There's some shooting gun over here. Oh, it's another one of these contest things. I am bad at those. Let's not do that. Go. Let's just ride nice and easy here. Try to go past the nice little st wagon here. Oh, there's two of them. No wonder. You think there'd be set cameras along the road? Like, so that the game knows, like, okay, you're going down this road. Like, you, th this only works on roads. Then there'd be set cameras saying, okay, since you're going down this road, this is a great spot to watch from here. And then not, you know, try to do anything weird, but I'm trying to do weird things. Okay, nice, easy canter here. It takes a while to get to Buffalo or Bison Country, whatever. What's the difference between a bison and a buffalo? Let me look that up. We got some time here. Let me look that up. I don't know if there's actually is a difference. Maybe they're just two words for the same thing. Bison versus buffalo. Bison have large humps of their soldiers and bigger heads than buffalo. They also have beards as well as thick coats, which they shed in the spring and early summer. The way to tell a buffalo from a bison is to look at its horns. Okay. So they are actually totally different creatures. Did not know that. I thought they were synonyms. So they are totally different creatures. So they got the the buffalo have humps and the bison don't, according to this. It's only one website. I could have that backwards. 
don't see any bison yet, but we're not exactly in the area I need to be yet. But the photographer is going to be interesting. So what else could he be photographing? You think he's learned his lesson? He's gone under herbivores? Could be photographing bison. Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, I didn't see any white clothes at the clothier. My guess is white clothes don't exist. There's probably a white hat. I know you can... At least in RDO, you can take white hats from the lawmen. Because, you know, they're white hats. It makes total sense. Um, I don't know if there's a red hat option. I'd be kind of tempted. Though I do like Arthur's current hat right now. Pretty good. I think that's actually Arthur's hat. Like, that's what it's called. We get a gambler's hat or a, a stalker or something else, but this one's pretty good. All right, bison, we got to be coming up. Oh, okay, we're there. What's the smoke over here? Oh, just some random person camping out. All right, leave them alone. Okay, the bison are theoretically around here. I say theoretically because I don't actually see any. There's a lot of fires around. Mm, let's see what the fires are about first. Like we might have a horse. I don't know why the fire is there. Why is the fire there? There's a dude there just having... Oh, he has a... He has a group. Okay. He has a horde of horses, and or goats, anyway. So the gate's wide open. Like, that seems questionable. Alright, the bison are going to be around here, if they are. They're probably further north. My guess would be, like, up here. Sorry, didn't we shoot this guy before? That was an accident. Let's try not to repeat that. And we kind of just approached him when he wasn't really expecting it. He pulled a gun. I pulled my gun. Things got at hand. That is a deer. I don't see any bison glowing in eagle eye mode here. On the upside, we get up here, we might be able to find a squirrel we can shoot. Or if it gets late enough, maybe an owl. Yeah. But I do not see any bison at all. Sometimes they're along the hill here. Now, come on. But all I see is deer. Could be just the wrong time of year for bison. Not that I remember why we want the bison hide. Yep, it's just a bunch of deer that are glowing. Nothing else here. I don't think there's any legendary animals here, so I don't think we need to worry about that. No? Three-star pronghorn. I think that's what we need. So, sure, why not? We'll go and grab the pronghorn. I don't remember if we need the complete one or just the hide. I think just the hide. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, he went over that way. Uh, three store. Oh, damn. That's confusing. Uh, that one? There we go. Yeah, okay, went over this way. Could probably do a rolling block and get him this way. Uh, probably not with my volcano pistol. Funny as that would be. Yeah, rolling block rifle. That'll do. The rare rolling block, I don't think has enough damage. Oh, it has less range, too. That's weird. Yeah, simple rolling block will do. Here we go. Just don't lose him. That's all I ask. Oh, wait, is that a bison up there? No. No. Oh, yeah, it is. It is a bison. Okay. Shit. Okay, so all we want then is this guy's head then. Oh, damn, I can't get a good shot. All right, just, uh, we should probably sneak. Probably a good idea. Sneak, I said. There you go. The bison are totally right there. Although this shot, fuck. I do a rolling block rifle right now. If I shoot with this, then the bison are going to scatter like crazy. So I don't actually want to do this. What I want to do is a bow and arrow on the deer, on the doe, and then we'll get the rolling, the rolling block for the bison. Yeah, there we go. Give me that bow. Thank you. 
Unfortunately, I think I lost track of the doe. No, there he is. Okay, good, good. Or she is, rather. Okay, we'll go in and stock this one. A shot to the head should still take care of the doe. Now, for the bison, we are going to need a rolling block. But, yeah, there they are, right there. Okay, just make sure we just keep on track here. The doe might have moved on. I might have made too much noise when I aborted. But I don't think I did. Well, I did, didn't I? As the trail ends right here. Oh, no, okay, she just went on further. I'm okay with that. Is that her there? Might be her there. Nope, that's one star. Uh, how about you? There we go. That's totally her. Let me go and dead eye mode. Okay, I think I got her. Yeah, I did. I did get her. Okay, good. And that was silent, so the bison don't even notice. They are moving, but they're only, like, kind of moving. I think it's fine. So we get the hide here, which I think is all we need. Hopefully it's all we need. And we'll go look over the bison and see if we have a three-star there. Dead Eye is probably the right way to do it, because otherwise I think I would have missed. Okay. Got a perfect hide. Hopefully that's all we need for Pearson. Don't remember why he wanted a perfect hide, but I think that's what he wanted. All the way back, and then we'll look over the bison here. So, do you want to stow this for me? Thank you. I'll be right back here, Argo. Don't go anywhere. Bison don't look like they're on the move, so I think we're okay. Oh, they're kind of on the move. What do we got? We've got a three-star bison right there. I don't trust my shot from here, though, so I think we're going to get closer. Yeah, they're moving. Okay. It could just be their time to move. Like, I don't think I scared them. I think that's just what they're doing. But it's fine. They're probably not going very far. Of course, I scared the wolves. I would not that actually cascades into scaring off everybody else. I don't know. Let's be nice and cautious as we go over the ridge. In, like, my worst case scenario is there's a buffalo, like, right on the other side. And we just spook them all. Spooking the entire herd would not be ideal. Where the hell did her go? Oh, there they are. Oh, dude, there's a shit ton of them. Okay, any one of these three stars would be great. That's a three star right there. That's a two star. That's a one star. So that's our one target right there. Rather somebody who's kind of, sort of, we get a side profile up, but we really don't have a side profile on any of these guys. Another three star there, but yeah, we've all got, okay, we need to go along the side here. Uh, how's my sense? Ah, oh, shit, my sense is going right to them. Okay, can I adjust that, though? I think I have a cover something for this. Yeah, cover some lotion. There you go. Just to be on the safe side. What I would hate to do is spook this entire herd. So now I've got a cover scent. We'll definitely go so that my scent goes away from them. Hunting them in the middle of the night is probably cheating because they're all relaxed, but you know what? This is easier than doing it during the daytime, maybe. Okay, I think I've got a side profile on our number... Uh, on our three-star guy over here. I want to make sure. I think our three-star guy is this guy? Yeah, there he is. All right. Wait for him to move. Or her, or whatever. Uh, I don't know why you're moving like that, because it's giving me some consternation. Can you stop? Thank you. He's going to sleep. Well, he'll just never wake up again. I'm okay with that. Oh my god, can you just get out of the way? Do I want to take another one of these guys? Look, that's a three star. There. I should have done it. it. Scatters the rest of the herd, but as long as he keeps his three star status, I don't care.
Yep, three star status. Okay, let's take this back to Pearson. <laughs> three hours later, after he's actually like skinned everything, would take a while on an animal that big. Not to mention, you wouldn't be able to take everything from the animal. Okay. All right, Argo. Oh, damn it. Argo's just out of range. God damn it. It's all right. I can go to it. Go to her. There we go. Yeah, we haven't bonded enough lately to really... For her to follow me this far. It's all right. It's not that far. She should mostly be able to get to me. Come on, Argo. There she is. Hey, Argo. All right, we're going to go to camp. It's going to be great. I have no idea what we're going to do with this bison pelt, but apparently they want it. We also have a perfect pronghorn pelt in case that's a thing. Uh, probably just go to Clemens Point directly. There you go. All right. Got a perfect pronghorn pelt. Got a perfect bison pelt. Hopefully Pearson will be able to make good use of this. Go ahead and have some oat cake. There's our road. Now we can do cinematic. As long as we go on a simple pace here, and we're good to go. All right. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC Universe, Europe, PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.